1,372,800. That's how many steps it takes to walk from Key West to Tallahassee. And one man from Central Florida is doing just that. One step at a time. It works out to about 650 miles. And at his current pace, Tom Bullhill will be at the finish line next week. But why is he doing it? How's it going? And what does he want to accomplish? Three of the many questions I asked this former firefighter. Do each of these badges represent someone who's deceased? Everyone. Everything on here. There's over 600 names. Tom Bullhill is carrying the weight of the world, the firefighter's world, on his shoulders. Wow, that's heavy. When he stopped by the Channel 9 studios, he had collected 600 badges and even more items from firefighters' families whose loved one had died from cancer. And here I have fire, three firefighters' ashes. Yes, it's quite a burden, but nothing like the burden felt by families who in Florida do not receive line of duty benefits if their loved one dies of cancer. The biggest problem I think we face is what I'm walking for is I've seen families destroyed from this. All but 10 other states recognize cancer as a risk of being a firefighter, not Florida. One out of four firefighters are gonna be diagnosed with cancer, mm. for sure. The bunker gear is now known to carry carcinogens, plus the obvious other threats of smoke inhalation, chemical exposure, etc. Young firefighters are warned of the risks. It's pretty much mandated now that you're going to have an education on cancer, cancer awareness. So they've acknowledged it, so therefore if there's that acknowledgement early on, you would think there would be some yeah. repercussions. Yeah, and there's none. And that's why he walks, and walks, and walks. Bull said Orange County has at least given firefighters two sets of bunker gear now because what used to be a badge of honor, wearing dirty gear, is now suspected to cause cancer, so it's washed. Firefighters are taking some precautions, yet families of the fallen are not being taken care of in Florida, and maybe one step at a time that will change. So, so Greg, what about the physical challenges for, for Bull? He's carrying those. You lifted it, that heavy, heavy backpack. Mm -hmm. And he carries it every step of the mm -hmm. way, never puts it down or one of the other backpacks. He's had his toenails removed. He removed one of them on both of his big mm. toes. He's cut out the toes of his tennis shoes so there's no pressure on the toenails. He suffers major cramping, blisters. He is sunburned. He's also had a knee replaced prior to all this, but he walks with supporters who have joined him at every turn. Unbelievable story. Really is is just an amazing thing. You can see my entire interview. You don't want to miss it. Record it if you're not going to be around. It is Saturday tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. on Central Florida Spotlight. Looking forward to watching that. Mm -hmm.